Okay, guys. So, hello. So, this is our final topic in parasitology. This is my last uh, video discussion. So, guys, please homework na lang. Nyo na lang yung coccidia, yung cryptosporidium, toxoplasma gondii. Um, please um, read on babesia, microti. So, ito yung last discussion natin. Simulan natin. Sa so, class, so plasmodium species. So, there are five clinically significant plasmodium species. Your vivax, plasmodium vivax, falciparum, malariae, falciparum, malariae, ovale, and no lessi. Pero magpo-focus lang tayo, class apat, yung first four, vivax, falciparum, malariae, and ovale. So, class, malaria is still a clinically significant uh, disease around the world. Yeah, especially countries that are close to the equator. So, yung mga tropical countries, Southeast East Asian countries, uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, Latin America, class. So, common pa rin talaga ang malaria. Marami pa rin namamatay sa malaria, class. And the mode of transmission of this is the insect bite of a female Anopheles mosquito. Huwag kakalimutan. So, kung sa malaria, Anopheles sa dengue is your Aedes aegypti, class. Ang nagkakas naman ng dengue, virus. Ang so, nagkakos ng plasmodium is a protozoa. Yan. So, class, para daw makapasok ang plasmodium vivax sa loob ng red blood cells. So, class, ang inaataking itong mga plasmodium na to ay red blood cell. So, class, um, once they multiply inside your red blood cell, magmultiply ng multiply until it will pop. Yan. At, at, until it will hemolyze and will result to anemia. Yan. So, aatakihin niya yung mga red blood cell mo hanggang maubos. Yan. So, class, so, so yung key para makapasok ang plasmodium vivax sa red blood cell is your FY6 or your Duffy 6 antigen. Yan. So that your red blood cells could enter and invade your red your your protozoa could enter and invade your red blood cells yan how yun so dati tinuturo namin na pag uh, you are duffy negative so duffy is an is a blood group if you are a duffy negative person you are resistant to malaria so noon sa africa class maraming duffy negative na tao pag duffy negative ka resistant ka to malaria however guys recent study shows that e even duffy negative individuals are now having plasmodium vivax infection however guys um people with sickle cell anemia G6PD, thalassemia, are said to have partial resistance to palsy parum. So, pag pumasok sa dugo ng mga tao may sickle cell anemia, G6PD, deficiency ang protozoa, yan, eh, itong mga cells na to, they are um, they are more likely to be broken down in your spleen. Yan. Mas mataas yung chances nila na itong mga red blood cell na to, since my sickle cell, dumidiretsyo sa spleen at nasisira. So, hindi na ako makalat. Yan. So, class, so around the world, the most common is plasmodium vivax. In the Philippines, common ang falciparum. Pero meron pa rin tayong vivax. Ayun, later na yung iba kong sabihin. Okay. Now, let's head on to your life cycle of your malaria. So, class, your malaria has two phases of your life cycle. I hope that this table made it easy for you. Yeah. So, class, I'll um, link a video. Napakaganda ng video. So, please check it out. So, para naman may images kayong makita. So, this, I think, is a um, simplified, very simplified version. So, class, sexual life cycle happens in your Anopheles mosquito sa definitive host. Ang asexual life cycle stage nangyayari sa man. Yeah. So, the sexual life cycle is called sporogony because our goal is to make sporozoids. Yeah. And your asexual life cycle, guys, is called schizogony because we want to make schizones. Yeah. Schizones. <coughs> 
So, simulan natin. So, yung buong process na ito, gametocytes to sporozoites, we call this porogony. Okay? So, class, your anopheles mosquito will bite a human being. So, pag um, kumagat siya ng tao na may plasmodium, plasmodium na sa circulation, kasi life cycle to eh. It's a circle class. It, this never stops. So, yung anopheles mosquito, kumagat siya ng isang taong may plasmodium. Yan, hindi itong taong to, hindi walang bed net, walang kulambo, walang mosquito net. Yan, hindi nagsusuot ng long sleeves. Yon, nakagat siya. Or walang vaccine. May vaccine na ng malaria, guys. So, yun, nahawa ang mosquito class. At ang nasipsip niya sa proboscis niya is your gametocytes. Yan. We have two gametocytes. We have microgametocytes and macrogametocytes. Mic microgametocytes is the male counterpart and macrogametocytes is the female counterpart. So, that will um, reproduce. Yan, they will unite and they will form a zygote or a motile or a pinit. Yan, so this happens in the gut of your Anopheles mosquito. And then it will transform into an oocyst and into a sporozoite. So pag may sporozoite na sa bibig, sa proboscis ng Anopheles, now it will bite a human being. Yan, and its infective stage, so yung last done, is your sporozoite. The one that would enter your human class is your sporozoite. So class, um... The sporozoids class, ang first na pinupuntahan nila is liver. Sa liver muna. So class, pag plasmodium vivax at ovale ang kumagat sa isang tao, class, itong ovale at vivax na to, ang matindi itong class because it will form hypnozoids and tends to go dormant in the liver. It will form hypnozoids. Hypno parang hypnotize, di ba? Parang sleep eh. Yan, hypnozoid. So, matutulog muna siya sa liver for a very long time. So, class, kung may vivax ka, pwede kang magkaroon ng malaria, tapos ma-cure ka, tapos after a year or so, or a couple of years, class, biglang ma-activate itong mga hypnozoids. Yan. So, I know someone, kwento sa akin, sa BGH, na this woman, yan, has been going back and forth to the hospital for, um, uh, yun, lagi siyang mababa yung hemoglobin niya, mababa yung hematocrit niya. So, hindi nila alam kung anong mali. <clears throat> Napakimo na siya, kala nila cancer, ayun. So, ang problema niya pala is may hypnozoid siya. Yan, resulting to malaria. Yan, malaria pala ang mali sa kanya. So, class actually, um, you need a skilled medical technologist to really see malaria in the, the, the smear. So, kung nag-peripheral blood smear ka, kung hindi train talaga yung medtech sa isa sa um, sa malaria diagnosis is mahirap hanapin class ang malaria. Kung hindi ka talaga mindful, yan, mahirap hanapin ang malaria may, unless um, the medical technology is very skilled on checking malaria sa peripheral blood smear. So, the still class, the gold standard of checking malaria is um, direct microscopy na makikita mismo ng mata mo na may malaria sa red blood cells. Yan. So, class, um, ayun yung sa Vivax. Pwede siyang magkaroon ng erythrocytic phase. Pwede siyang magkaroon ng exoerythrocytic phase. When we say exoerythrocytic phase, yan, it goes dormant for a while in the liver and it will be activated for a couple of years, a couple of months. Yan yung dangerous siya. Sa Vivax at saka sa Ovale. Ayan. So, class, kung falsiparum and the rest of the species, so, yung normally, nasa erythrocytic phase. So, what they do is they attack your red blood cells. Ayan. So, yung sporozoids, papasok sa red blood cell at magmumultiply into merozoids. Yan. So, class, yung sporozoids, yan, actually, marami na itong sporozoids. Yan, parang, parang siyang worm-like daw, worm-like, and it will spread. Yan, it will spread, it will mature into merozoids and will attach to red blood cells. Yan, so, papasok siya sa loob ng mga red blood cells, class, 
at sa loob ng red blood cells may transformation. Yan. So, um, hinighlight ko ng red yung mga um, transformation inside your red blood cell. At ito yung mga diagnostic stages. So, usually ang diagnostic stages natin, ito class, immature or early or ring trophozoite. So, yun, may mga ring form. So, that's the immature form. We have the mature or late trophozoite. Yan. And we have schizons. Yan. So, schizons are your um, late trophozoite which has undergone mitosis. So, magmumultiply, magmumultiply, magdi-divide sila ng magdi-divide class. Hanggang rumami sila, hanggang pumutok ang red blood cell. At itong merozoids, they will attack other red blood cells as well. Yan. And this class, merozoids class, some of the merozoids will transform into gametocytes. Some will go back into becoming immature, immature trophozoite, pero some will mature into gametocytes. Yan. And micro and macro gametocytes. So macro yung babae, micro yung lalaki. So sa parasitic world, mas malaki ang babae. So, um, now, this micro and macro gametocyte will be in your circulation. Nasa dugo pa rin. Tapos, it, you, the person will be beaten by a plasmodium, a anopheles. Tapos, the sexual life cycle will start again. So, itong merozoids, immature um, trophozoids, late, late or mature trophozoids, schizon merozoids class. These are found in this, inside the red blood cell. So this could be diagnosed. Then, ito yung nakikita ng medtech sa loob ng red blood cell. Yan. So these are diagnostic stages. So class, symptoms and pathology. So class, ang um, bawat species ng plasmodium may ano sila, may unique sa kanila. That may unique sa kanila yung paroxysms to Paroxysms of fever, yan, or recurrent chills or fever. So, kunyari, itong unique dito sa mga malaria, iba-iba yung recurrent ng, recurrence ng fever. Pwede every two days, every three days, ganun. So, kaya bantayan nyo yung lagnat nyo. Yan, kala nyo COVID, malaria pala. Yan, di ba? So, wag naman sana. Pero ganun eh. Um, parang, kasi pare-pareho yung symptoms nila, flu-like symptoms, yan. So, unless class, yan, hindi ko naman kinatakutin, unless you are living in a place where malaria is endemic, ayun, kailangan yung mag-ingat. At class, um, ayun, yung, yung mga mahilig rin mag-travel, yan, maraming namamatay sa malaria from traveling. So, yan, mamaya, let's Discover what is the unique timing of your um, paroxysms to fever. Class, ayun, ang mga pasyente may, may malaria, very prone to anemia. Kasi nga, ang inaatake nitong mga protozoa are your red blood cells. Enlargement of the spleen. So, since these red blood cells are infected with protozoa, yun, they are sequestered in your spleen. So, nag-over function ang spleen, the malaki, splenomegaly, and we have joint pains. Yan, falsiparam may be fatal. It could cause cerebral malaria. Yan. The pigments, yan, since there is excess breakdown of red blood cells, yan, the pigments block the blood vessels. Yan, especially in your central nervous system. And we have black water fever. You have massive intravascular hemolysis. So, kunya, itong intravascular hemolysis class, unique to nga. Kasi nga, it could happen every two days, every 48 hours, every 36 hours. And mamaya, we will see. And class, pag may hemoglobinuria ha na, class, may dugo na yung ihi mo. Ayun. So, your black water fever. Ito. So, dito muna tayo. So, class, your vivax tends to um, attack immature red blood cells, mga reticulocytes. Yan. So, <clears throat> um, ay, ay, nung nag-aaral ako, class, ang, ang mnemonic ko dito, so, vivax, vata. <laughs> Yan, vata, yung mga batang cells, class, yung ini-infect niyang red blood cell. Yan, malaria, matanda, or mature. 
yung ini-infect niya ang red blood cells. Huwag niyo kakalimutan yan. Ha? So, virovax plus mga reticulocytes, immature red blood cells. Yan. Virovax and ovali are uh, prone for hypnozoids. Yan. Pagiging dormant sa liver. Exoerythrocytic cycle. Ito class, time between fever or cyclic paroxysm. Ito yung timing kung biglang kailan nagkakaroon ng sabay-sabay na intravascular hemolysis. Class sa Vivax is every 48 hours, every 2 days. Yan. Or we also call this benign quartan fever. Yan. Sa palsy parang class, sabi sa video, may 24 hours. However, sabi sa Zybig, doon na tayo maniwala, 36 to 48 hours. Your 36 to 48 hours. That's why it's called malignant tertian malaria. Ito 72 hours every four days. Quartan fever or malaria. We have 48 hours for ovale or we call it ovale malaria. Yeah. So important identification. So this is just a summary of the different identification. So for Vivax, very common ang Schuffner's dots. Expect your red blood cells to be enlarged and uh, enlarged and the trophozoites are irregularly shaped. So, iba-iba yung shape nila. Kasi mamaya, in, yung iba, mas maganda yung shape ng trophozoites nila. Let's discover. Ito, falsifiro, multiple ring forms, crescent shape in gametes. So, banana shape. Yan, banana shape. Sa falsifiro, So, walang banana shape sa Vivax. May banana shape or crescent shape sa Palparam. Yun yun. Plus yung mga unique sa kanila. And the ring is shaped young... Ano? And the ring shape young trophozoid. The ring shape or are seen. Yan. And we have motor or Christopher dots. So, notice in Palparam, there's no enlarged red blood cells. Yan. So, for malaria class, infected RBCs normal size. Class, your <clears throat> trophozoites are banned. Ito naman, band form. Yan. Class, tingnan nyo naman sa Zybig, anong itsura ng band form. So, dito naman, makikita ang Zeeman's dots. Sa ovale class, James or Schuffner's dots. Yan. So, red blood cells are enlarged, parang sa Vivax. Yan. And class, however, your red blood cells could be serrated or fimbriated edges. So, parang nagiging bur cell siya, class B-U-R-R cell. So, nagkakaroon ng serrated. Di ba parang serrated knife, ginagamit pag slice ng bread. Yan, yung ganun-ganun. Parang sa, um, sa, ano yun? Lagare. Yan, nagiging ganun yung, yung um, red blood cells natin. And irregularly shaped trophozoite. Yan, so please take note. Of those, yeah. So that's it for our discussion in Plasmodium class. I'll see you in the exam. Bye bye.